so welcome back to this course and i want you to pay closer attention because i'm going to be taking you through the entire journey of what you call optimization for increase of visibility on facebook now if you can notice the template that i have right here uh, you can see that the page is not even live yet it's still showing publish the page now that uh, our page is still offline there are some necessary things that we need to do the first thing that we need to take care of is what we call the profile picture now we go ahead and update a profile picture but before we go there we have to first advance some settings here on our page if you take a good look at where we have the username right here it's telling you create a username so here just go ahead and click on this if you click on this it will take you to the segment where it will be able to give you the opportunity to choose a name that you will use for your page alternatively we could go to the settings navigate through the settings and the edit page if we click on the edit page we can set up our page profile we can see the name the username just updated right now you could use an alphabet and uh, numbers it could be alphabet of four letters word or five and uh, numbers now that we have that out of the way what this thing does is that it's easier for people to find your page in search when it has a unique username so pages with username can also create a costume url that people quickly visit and message them if you take a good look at uh, the link right here this is what we are talking about as you can see as highlighted is highlighted right here too so that is what that does now moving over to the category we could add apart from marketing agency we could add social media agency and lots more and uh, now we are heading over to the most important aspect of adding a contact number to your page now that's that is said and done we could actually add a number right here so let's just say we click on this drop down button and uh, we search for your country so i search for nigeria plus two three four so i put my mobile number here Now that I have my mobile number here, I could also do the same for my WhatsApp phone number. Now I just add that. Now that that is said and done, if your page doesn't have a phone number, you can go ahead and tick this. But in my case, I do. And marketing agency, I can actually put my email address so it's easier for people to actually reach me but before i can continue that i have to verify the whatsapp by whatsapp sending me a code so i can actually verify that i am the owner of the account so i just click on send code while i wait for facebook to send me a code so once the code is sent, I just impute it here and uh, we click on confirm. So Facebook, we actually confirm it and we automatically direct people to your WhatsApp. I hope you got that. So now that the code is sent, I just type it out here. So I click on confirm. So now your WhatsApp number has been updated. So your page is now connected to WhatsApp. Now, would you like to add a button to your page? Just click on add button. So 
automatically is going to add the whatsapp button to your page now a button has been updated to your page just go ahead and click on skip this we will get that we will, we will get to that and i just go ahead and say cancel this as well now that that is said and done i could add my email address if i want to but in my case i won't be adding that i won't be adding a website as well and uh, my page doesn't have location if it does you can actually put that there so now additional information this is absolutely optional service area the area where you prefer or you, you render your service so you can go ahead and put that if you have a physical shop so now you can put it as no hour available or always open depending on your niche so you could say permanently closed so just leave it at always open so now we have the temporary service changes open with service changes temporarily closed this business page isn't closed open but will be opened again in the future so that is that about that the business has new or change service if that is that you go ahead and take this this is for others and you could figure that out so now you could add uh, information you could use a code you could actually add the price range you could add your country and uh, you can add a social media platform like instagram like tiktok so in my case i just add instagram so now i can go ahead and click on next button if i click on next i could actually change it from here to let's say tiktok or youtube so now that we have updated our instagram now we can add other account here input your username right here and click the drop down button here and add instagram so that is that about that and if it is youtube that you want you can go ahead and click on youtube so that is that about that so the next on our agenda now is that let's view how our page actually looks like so now that our whatsapp is updated next on our agenda is we want to update a cover photo now to do that you just head over to canva.com you can just go ahead and search for facebook cover cover you can search for that it will give you some options for you to work with just go ahead and re-edit it and use it to your taste another website you can actually use is you can head over to postermywall.com here you can see some beautiful designs that you can do just go ahead and search for any design that you want in our case we are searching for facebook marketing back over for facebook so we just go ahead and search facebook cover so click on create or search rather so if we successfully search this we will be given various options to work with so here we have some beautiful templates right here so just go ahead and click on any of those to edit so if i need this i just go ahead and click on it this is the perfect size of what we are working with okay so we just go ahead and click on edit design the design has been perfectly done all you just want to do is just change one or two from there and use it for your facebook cover now that our canva is opened as well you can just go ahead and search for any of those and use now click on the picture to replace just at the right hand corner here just click on replace and uh, go ahead and click on these letters to you know re-edit and use after that is said and done you just go ahead and uh, click on download if you click on download it will give you the option to you know download 
and you just go ahead and download it and you can use it for your facebook cover returning back to our facebook page we just go ahead and click on edit if we click on edit we click on upload photo now we'll be taken into our desktop and uh, where we can choose the page cover pictures that we have right here so all you just want to do is just search for it i just go ahead and search for it and i'll click on enter so you can go ahead and reposition this to your advantage or you can just click on save changes now that that is said and done we can go ahead and click on publish page now it said your page has been published and now this page has been published and you can invite friends and share posts publicly now you can go ahead and click on invite 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 or just go ahead and click on see all to do a general invite so if you do this facebook will automatically send all of them messages that you have just created a new page and they should follow you so that is that about that you can click as many as you want and just click on send invitation so the invite has been sent and as you can see now that our page is active now this is the url of your page if i copy this and I open a new tab and I paste this it will take me straight into my page that is the reason why I said we must actually include that username so as you can see now that we now have our page after which we successfully copied the URL and open in a new tab